Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. And this week I want to talk about a feature called target audiences and how you and your administrators or organization can use it to increase the security of your document sharing within your organization. If you'd like to know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so firstly, what is target audiences? How can you um, use it to actually uh, increase the security of your, of your document sharing within your business? Uh, and then I'd like to show you how the feature actually works with a quick demo and how administrators can turn it on. So target audiences. Firstly, I wanna talk about what target audiences is, how you can use it within your organization to increase the security of your sharing uh, for documents as that's its primary use at the moment. Uh, and then I'm going to do a short demo of what it looks like from the uh, user's point of view and for administrators, how they actually uh, can set it up. So firstly, what is target audiences? Well, it's a feature within Google that, that launched relatively recently in the last year. And it allows you or your organization to create a target audience or group of people for link sharing within the organization. Now, why is link sharing a concern? Well, um, there are multiple ways to share a document. You could email it as an attachment. If you're working within Google, you're probably going to share uh, the document, the live doc for people to work on. Uh, and that's generally fine. People will add people to the document that they want. Now, with, with lots of people working from home, people have been having to share documents maybe more widely within their organization. And so often people um, lean on what's called link sharing, where you just say anyone within your organization can actually view this document. Uh, you can also say anyone in the world, anyone with this link can um, can access this document. Now, that's great. That that's, makes it, it really easy to access. But obviously, there's a security concern there. And we always say that security is a balance between um, ease of use and access uh, and the security on the other side. And you're trying to create a nice balance there. I have seen cases where organizations have, or someone in an organization has made a document available to anyone via the link, and then they have added that link somewhere else within the organization, maybe to a calendar appointment, or maybe to another system, and they don't realize that more people had access uh, to that uh, system maybe than, than they thought, or that calendar appointment than they thought. And so then once people have the link, they can view the document. That's how you set it up. So what target audiences does it is it allows administrators to set up a suggested target audience. So you could have a target audience that's the marketing team, the sales team, the HR team. And you can see how that would make sharing via the link much more secure. So now as an end user, I can say, well, I'm sharing this document. I only need the marketing team to see it. So I'm going to select that target audience. And now if that link is shared outside of that group, it doesn't matter because people can't actually access the document unless they're part of that group. OK, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so let's jump into what it looks like right now for me uh, within my organization where I don't have, have the link sharing set up. Where's my glasses? Um, so here I'm in a folder called Transforming Work and I've got a couple of images. When I right click on one of these images and I select Share, you can see I can share it with an individual or group, or I can share it via the link. Now, when I select any, now it currently says anyone with the link, so it's anybody on the internet can access this. Um, I could say anybody within Dams and Cloud, which is what we were talking about before, anyone within the organization, or I could restrict it, and therefore it's only now people who I have specifically added uh, to that file will be able to see it, okay? So this is my little computer header image. That I'm looking at here. Now with target audiences, as I said, I'm going to be able to create a target audience that I that I, I only specifically want to share with um, the marketing team. So I'm going to call this marketing team. And I can give a little description if I want as well. Let's copy and paste that, make it nice and simple. And I'm going to create that target audience now. Now I can add members to my target audience. So I could use actually a group here if I wanted. Um, in this case, I'm just going to add myself and I'm going to add Charlotte. Okay, so now I've got Fintan, Alina and Charlotte. We've all been added to the marketing team target audience. Now, I'm not quite done as an administrator because 
my marketing team target audience exists, but it's still not going to appear here when I go into my link sharing because I haven't actually added it to Google Drive yet. So that's the next step for me. I've got to actually um, go into my uh, Google Drive settings, which I've sort of opened up here separately, and I've got to edit the target audience that is available within Google Drive. Um, so now I can select the marketing team and I can save that and I can now add them as a secondary option. You might have noticed here you can have up to five target audiences for Google Drive. I can imagine Google will actually roll this out maybe to more areas of, of Google, the um, sharing permissions or the target audience sharing permissions. And that would mean that then I could maybe use it to, to share other things as well. So now if I do a quick refresh on here, and if I go into the link sharing for this particular file, now I should be able to select the marketing team. And so again, this link, it's anyone in this group rather than anyone in the company. So now I can share this link even if I wanted, I could share it with the entire company and only the people who um, are in that uh, target audience will actually be able to see the file. So you can see how that would increase the security um, of, of your file sharing within, within the organization. Um, and for IT admins, make it easy to create those target audiences so that, that people are sharing the information um, in the right way. Um, you saw there that there were up to five target audiences that an administrator could set. And so admins can go in and set HR and marketing and IT and the different sharing target audiences that um, the organization has access to. We're trying to make it easy for the end user so that they're less likely um, to take that less secure route, which might be easier for them to do. So hopefully you guys found this valuable. Um, I'd be interested to know what you think of the target audiences update or feature. Uh, I think it's quite interesting that Google are working on some of these security areas, particularly with everybody working from home now and the hybrid approach of working. The ease of being able to share files with the security controls is only going to become more important. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're looking at this on LinkedIn, then don't forget to follow our company page. We are also on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook as well. That's it for me, guys. I will see you next week.